in this section, we're going to look at some pictures of yourself through years, and you're going to tell me the story behind them, all right? Okay. Ooh, that was when I was a vampire at Club Voyeur. That's a, that's a good one. Yeah. That was, uh, ooh, 2009? 2008. Do you remember that club? No. Oh, that's good. <laughs> I, don't, I don't remember that club. I don't think I, I was able to go clubbing by that time yet. I love this one. He's just like staring oh. at you like, sup? No big deal. So, do you want some candy? <laughs> yeah. That's that a was, good one. Yeah. That was me DJing at Club Hemlock, Bar Pink. And I think that was our Cramps tribute night with Teenage Goo Goo Muck. And the gentleman standing next to me is Garrett, and he has this um, kind of persona called The Fiend, very Misfits inspired, right. amazing, you know, mask and everything. So it was good to have them there. Ooh, that was me at my shop eating one of Wenzo's burritos. Oh. Shout out to Wenzo. Is that your favorite spot? And I had one of her burritos today. <laughs> I had the vegan fried chicken burrito. Oh my god, there's a vegan fried chicken burrito? I know it's amazing, yes. Wow. Wenzo's burritos on Instagram. Okay, plug, 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 nice plug. yes. Are you a vegan? No. Okay, but you, you like to try vegan stuff. But her too. vegan burritos are so amazing that... Oh my I god, now I am, now I gotta check it out. The next one, you doing your thing. That is me in my elements, making hemlock t-shirts. Um, I'm pretty much always in my shop making something. But yeah, it's a big part of, of the events, you know, making merch, stickers, koozies, posters. You know. And like for to, the people that don't know, tell me about your shop. <clears throat> um, we do screen printing in Clothing Boutique in North Park. Um, great shop, small business, um, work our asses off. And I actually have some good news with respect to that, if I can share. Yes, of course. We'll be in our current location on University for about three more weeks, and then we're moving into a bigger, newer facility hey. in October. So we're doing the build-out right now, and it's a big move for us. It's a, a big move for the company, and I'm excited about what it will bring. That's amazing. Where, what area are you moving? We're actually kind of moving right behind our current shop. Oh, okay. So, so not too far. Not too far. Just bigger. A lot bigger. Oh, that's amazing. Congrats. Yeah, that means that you. you guys are, are killing it. We are. We work hard. You know, You know, I always see it too. And I did like, I've never gotten it because I mean, I don't, it's not like I need to print stuff out, but I always see it like AK mm -hmm. and like, I, I always think it looks really cool, like the black building. So, yeah. wow, that's crazy. Now I get to meet the owner and interview him. <laughs> and the last picture. That was me holding a screen of a giant dick, um, giant veiny penis. And I remember that job. I forgot who it was for, but we did that in, I think, like a rose foil. So just imagine a giant dildo in rose foil. <laughs> that was beautiful. I wonder, cool. I wonder if it was like uh, made out of like someone inspired by someone's dick. Yeah, I mean, if it was, it's very impressive because that thing's huge. <laughs> so, good job, whoever that was inspired off of. <laughs> Fantastic. Thank you for sharing the stories behind these bomb pictures. Yeah.